Hey, what is up everyone? This is Flash from Flash Hobbies. We're going to be doing a pretty much a series on every single truck that I have at the current moment. Um, kind of the build overview, um, if there's any upgrades, kind of future plans. So we'll get started with this one. I have actually had this one for a little bit of time. This is a actual Yeti um, trophy truck. Um, I originally picked this up in a RC lot and I've just been kind of putting pieces on here and there when I had uh, extra pieces from other lots so um, I haven't really actually driven this one I've had it for maybe six months or more so it's kind of overdue um, one of the main reasons why I didn't want to run it is it, it actually came with this body but as you can see the paint is flaking off from the inside so that leads me to believe that the um, the body wasn't prepped correctly so uh, I was just kind of debating if I was going to strip down the paint but ultimately I think I'm just gonna run it bash it uh, let the paint fall off if it if it does and I'll I'll reprep the body and just paint it myself but um it does have the interior the full interior in there in the cage so um, I really like the way that they incorporated the cage into this bug and actually it, it fits pretty perfect actually from front to back it's like it was almost made for this body um, so you get that, uh, that real scale Baja bug look it's got the rear um, for you can put the lights in there and all that so as far as this one this is pretty plain Jane um, really the only upgrade it has it has a um, spectrum uh, servo high torque metal servo these are the stock shocks that come with it it's running a castle um, sidewinder system and it does have these which are actually now that I look at these they're kind of rare to find if you didn't get the kit version and I don't think this was the kit version well these are basically they're just um, the regular trailing arms but it has these metal plates there's one on this side and there's one on the opposite side as well and it kind of gives it rigidity so you don't have to buy metal trail trailing arms but in reality these two plates cost you as much as what metal arms would cost you regularly so it's not much of an upgrade um, it just happened to come with these so uh, that's how it's gonna stay uh, the drive shaft is updated on this uh, it does have a this is the MIP for the Yeti and um, I've used these on the other trucks before I don't really have any issues the biggest issue I have really is just the screw that's here the set screw or the grub screw it strips out pretty easily so um, I've had trouble with that in the past as for wheels, um, have a pretty aggressive look on these. These are extra tires that I had. Um, I got these on eBay for, I want to say, maybe 10, 15 bucks shipped. I can't remember. It's been a while. But um, really the main reason why I got them is because they, they have that real nice Baja look. Um, they look like the, the general tires from Associated. It's got that real nice tread pattern. Now, whether these tires are good or not, I have no idea. I haven't really tested them. Like I said, I really haven't driven this truck. Um, as far as I know, it's pretty much RTR. I am missing a few things. I'm missing a pinion, the cover, and the cover down here. It didn't come with that as well. So, um, should be up and running pretty soon, and you'll be seeing a video on this. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.